Hi, friends. Have you ever walked or driven across a bridge and thought, wow, how does this thing stay up? Bridges are amazing. They're like superheroes of engineering, connecting people, cities, and even countries. Today, we're going to explore the fascinating world of bridges, how they're built, the different types, and why they're so important. Let's jump in. A long, long time ago, before bridges were invented, people had to figure out how to cross rivers, valleys, or big gaps. They would use fallen trees, build rafts, or even swim across. It wasn't easy or safe, but humans are problem solvers, so they started building bridges to make life easier. The first bridges were super simple. Some were just logs placed across streams, while others were made from ropes and wood. But as time went on, people invented better ways to build bridges. Did you know the Romans were some of the best bridge builders in history? They used strong materials like stone and invented the arch bridge, which is so sturdy that some Roman bridges are still standing today 2,000 years later. Now, let's talk about the types of bridges you might see. There are one, beam bridges. These are the simplest kind. Imagine a wooden plank stretching across a stream. That's a beam bridge. Two, arch bridges. These use curved shapes to spread the weight evenly. That's why they're so strong. Three, suspension bridges. Have you seen a bridge with cables? That's a suspension bridge, like the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. The cables hold up the road. Four, draw bridges. These are so cool. They can lift up to let ships pass underneath. But how do bridges stay up? Well, it's all about balance and strength. Engineers have to think about tension, pulling forces, and compression, pushing forces, to make sure the bridge doesn't fall. They also test different materials, like steel and concrete, to make sure the bridge can handle the weight of cars, trucks, and even people. Bridges don't just help us travel, they also bring people closer together. Imagine living on one side of a river and your best friend is on the other. A bridge makes it easy to visit them. Plus, bridges are super important for trade and transportation. Without them, it would be really hard to deliver goods or travel quickly. Now let's think big. Some of the most famous bridges in the world are engineering wonders. There's the Tower Bridge in London, the Brooklyn Bridge in New York, and even the Millo Viaduct in France, which is the tallest bridge in the world. So, the next time you see a bridge, take a moment to appreciate the hard work and creativity that went into building it. Every bridge tells a story of human innovation and teamwork. Now, here's a question for you. If you could design your own bridge, what would it look like? Would it be tall, colorful, or have cool decorations? Let me know in the comments. That's all for today, but keep exploring and asking questions about the amazing world around you. See you next time.